Spiritual crystal card reading for the sign of Libra for the month of September. So let's see what is your main energy this uh, month. So Libra. Main energy for the month of September. This is uh, Emerald. Emerald was really nice. This is the heart. This is open the heart. And, um, excuse me one second. Okay. So, it is, um, what does it say? It says, I think, that you're going you're gonna to be in a position of bringing people with you, of helping people, of um, people may come to you. People may come to you for, for, to, to ask some advices, but you will be in a very strong position, you will be in a very stabilized position, and uh, your heart seems to be, will be strong. So, let's see, I want one more card for the main energy. The main energy is uh, protection, it's a uh, pearl, again. So, what does this say here? Okay, well, it can be two things, you know, it can be one, one can, this card also wants to come. It's again these two, okay. So, this is amethyst. Amethyst, what means uh, a higher spiritual development. Higher spiritual development, I'm going to put this beside, and the pearl. So, if I, if I see those three together, I think that because of this, something in the month of September, or I must be incredibly wrong, or something will actually um, influence us all. It doesn't matter which sign it will be, something will happen that will influence us all. It can be on the energy level, it can be on the earth level, but something's gonna happen. And this gonna gonna make gonna leave, leave a very big um, impression on us. So it's gonna for some people it will help them for going to a higher a higher uh, development, a higher energy to a higher state of the, of uh, spirituality as well. Other people may feel fear, may feel panic, may feel out of their, their balance. But I think you are the one, so Libra, you will be the sign who will be there for to, to catch the people around you who will having a fall down because of what's going to happen. If something is going to happen, what's going to happen, we don't know. It can be just the energy will be so intense that some people will just not really know how to deal with it. And because you are actually maybe working on your spirituality, working on your personal development, working on your energy, you will be more steady. You will not lose it. You will stay in your center. So there will be people around you who will maybe lose it. And you will be there for, to catch them. Eh? So that's very important. You will be there with your steady and you will have the, the power, not only the wisdom, you will have the power for, to catch them and to, and to bring them with you, to explain them a little bit, to help them a little bit, you know, that they feel better and that they can go more easy through the shift. So, this is the main energy of September for you. Now, the first week, first week of September for Libra, is here, in the beginning, this is Larimar, Larimar is a very beautiful stone. Stone with the color of the sea, stone of the dolphin, Larimar. Larimar is also nurturing, nurturing, a nurturing stone. The first week, I think actually, you won't really understand your full potential. You will see things, but you will not be able because you will, you will, have, you will make, be making your own limits. You will be, be sitting there and, and, and not really know how to deal with it. Or maybe other people, they will stop you and they will, they will not allow you to go further on. So I'm going to take one more card on this first week, first week of September. 
This is uh, Alexandrite. Alexandrite with beautiful colors. And I think there it is a question of karma as well, you know, it's a question of time. I think you will have to give yourself a little bit more time to do what you want to do. Just take your time here. Don't force things. Because if you're going to force it, maybe you can come uh, against the wall because maybe people, they don't want to listen at that time. So take it easy. Time will show. Time will make everything fall on its place. What has to come will come. Don't worry. So this is for the first week. Second week. Opa. Okay, this I put beside and see if there's any relevance. So let's go for the second week. Second week of September. For Libra. This is Agat. This is uh, also the beginning. You know you are at the beginning of something here. You are at the beginning. Maybe for you it's also something new. You know, this, this kind of uh, being in the position of other people that they are coming to you and that they are starting to talk to you. Maybe it's also new for you. So it's the beginning of something. And you're going to look a little bit to also new things, you know, it's like maybe also for you the old will end and a new start will come. So, because you have also here, don't forget that you have here also Amethyst. Amethyst is also the symbol of the old is going and the new is beginning. So maybe it will force you to look a little bit at the other side, to look a little bit at other possibilities. So maybe if this comes here, maybe this can be you who are pushing or putting your own limits and you have to give yourself time for to get through it and to understand what your real aim is, what your real capacity is. Maybe you haven't full acknowledged your full powers yet. Maybe you have a lot of power and you don't realize it. So that's maybe what's happening, that you, that you are maybe forced to look a little bit further up to see what is behind this, this, this curtain, you know, because you have all this behind the curtain, but till now maybe the curtain has been closed, and you will open it, you will open it this, this second week, and see what is behind the curtain, what is hidden there, what is what you already long time knew, but didn't want to acknowledge. It is also possible. So, for the third week, third week of um, September, Let's see what's going on here. Wow, this is full sunshine. This is um, sunstorm. It means open up. It means um, joy. It means shine. Of course, it means beginning. It means power. It means uh, so much. It means really, for sure, one thing is for sure, it's nice. You know, it's a nice time. So I think in the third week, yeah, because we are here, you know, it's, oh, it's the heart, it's taking people with you, it's influencing people, it's first week, maybe not being so sure about yourself, but somehow it's your karma, you know, it's, it is, it is, um, I would even say go to the point as, because of the air sign that you are, it's also with, and here it's blue, you know, it's, it's communicate, it's, intellect, it's thoughts, use it, use everything you have, I mean use really your knowledge, use your Sophia, use your your wisdom, use your, your mental power, use everything you have and you will see, you will see here, you will have these this, this people coming to you and you will have this talking to people and open your heart for these people and then you have here this Agat who says you gotta look a little bit at the other side, you know, look behind the curtain because maybe you have been really closing a little bit the curtain maybe before. And then here you have this sunshine, so it means you're really gonna do, if you do the step, to look behind of this curtain, you're really gonna have this sunshine and this this um, this opening up, I would say, this power. 
It's really nice. It's really light behind the curtain, I think. So it's really worth it to, to have a look behind what's, what's, what's there. Then the fourth week, fourth week of uh, September for Libra. Uh, this is maybe two cards you will see. This is um, Sapphire. Sapphire. Beautiful blue gem. And it's again, you know, this is really, if you, if you work on yourself like this, and if you go and have a look a little bit behind the curtain, what's there, and acknowledge your full potential, you will be like this. Before you are this gem, this blue gem, this sapphire, who is not worked at. It's in its uh, natural state. It's very beautiful, but you can't see the full potential. Then, when they start to work on it, look how beautiful it becomes. You can see the deep blue of the, of the sapphire. The beauty comes fully out. And this is you. This is really you. So work on yourself, polish yourself, go deep within, and you will see, you will be amazed about the power and the beauty that you have. So I, there's only one thing I can say is go for it. Go for it, definitely go for it. Now a little bit, let's see. Maybe this, this may be from, for some of you, maybe interesting, maybe can uh, say something to you. So you have a month here, the sep September, it's uh, aventuring. Aventuring. This is inner growth. This is inner growth. This is inner child. Get in contact with your inner child. F uh, find this wisdom in you, what still has to do with all this. Find the deeper wisdom in you. Second, then you have Rodolf Rasid. Some of you, you will have to go deep into your uh, past, uh, into your childhood. Maybe past life, but past life I don't think so. I think it's more connected with childhood. <coughs> Sorry. So, some of you will have to go deeper in. Because maybe you have lost your self-confidence somewhere on your path. So, reconnect with the child in you. Um, Go deeper in, see where somewhere, maybe somewhere on the road, this um, block has come, you know, maybe because of hearing a lot of times, you can't do it, no, don't do this, you can't, uh, no, 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 no. And this maybe have been putting a wall for you, have been putting a wall for yourself, and maybe this is your lesson in this life, to break this wall and to find back your self-confidence, one possibility. Then the other one is here, this is um, Mosagat. Mosagat, or I would say in this reading, is connected with Meditate Bali. Go into the nature, find your strength. Because it is all with finding your own strength. Find yourself, hug a tree, connect with the tree. Find your heart, find your deepest, deepest power in your heart, because you have incredible strength in your heart. And this, this is the opportunity this month. Then we have here, this is Quartz with uh, Black Tourmaline. That is again relevant with this reading. Because what does it say? It says, get in balance. Get in balance with your negative emotions and your positive emotions. But also, let justice be done. Justice be done. What means make justice to you? Justice to your inner self. Justice to your power. Acknowledge your own power. Acknowledge your full potential. You have the possibility to open your heart completely and to have other people coming to you and to help these people. That's very important. So, there are, for you it's a heart. This month, work on your heart chakra and find your own power within. This is very important and it's like you're putting your own limits, you are making the wall, so break it down and look what's behind because there lays your power and it's immense, it's, it's huge, it's like the sun, it shines, it's, it opens everything. So use this breaker, this open, this powerful tool to go through everything, every little spot, every little block, block that you have, just with the rays of the sun, you can see it just disappeared. And then you will see what this gem, this beauty, strength, this is 
intellect as well. It's blue, it's the third, the third eye, it's the, the ball, must be the third eye. So you have all these this, this qualities. So inner growth, going to the heart. Maybe you have to go into the childhood, maybe there something has happened where the block is where you weren't, um, you weren't allowed or you, you stopped acknowledging your own power. Go into the nature, meditate and uh, balance. Balance. And yeah, I would think it's a fasc fascinating month again. It's for everybody this month, with September definitely will be very strong and very interesting. So keep on working, enjoy it and I'm curious what's behind the curtain. So have a look. Thank you for watching.